Do you like to, to play for the place I was born in? I was born in Chennai, playing for Chennai Braves. Of course, a dream come true, you know? Still representing Chennai, so that's great. And of course, good to get a win under the belt. I think it sets up a good momentum for the next two matches, which is very important for us. So, hope we do well in the next couple of games. Uh, initially, uh, you lost a few wickets, but then the middle order settled in, and then the side scoring the big boundaries. So, what we thought was there always a plan in the chase? I mean, I think that's just with T10. You know, I think there's no time to consolidate after you lose few wickets. We just go on from ball one. I think that's what we did. The way Sikhi played in the end, I think it's a match winning innings from him. I uh, just want to ask about you. Uh, you moved to UAE, or were you always living in UAE? Oh no, I've so I was in India for six years, and I moved to UAE when I was six. So I've been there for 15 years now. Okay, so did you start playing cricket in you uh, in Chennai, or did you start playing cricket? No, in I didn't know what cricket meant when I was in India. So <laughs> it was after when I came to UAE. Okay, so how did you get into cricket in, in UAE? Um, I think 2011, India won the World Cup. I was there for summer vacations, and then of course just going on the street celebrating with the people in India. And that's really instilled cricket in me. It was the first time I ever watched cricket. My dad was always a cricket fan, and I think that's how I started playing cricket. So is T10 the first time you're playing cricket on a, on a big platform, or you played cricket for UAE before? I have played I've played hundred games for UAE now. Oh my uh, god! And this is my third T10. Yeah. Okay, okay. This is the third T10. So I just wanted to ask you, uh, yeah, how the experience of playing international cricket for UAE representing an associate nation, and and in a way, T10 is also helping the associate nations as well grow. Not only just popularizing the sport here in association, but also giving their players a chance to perform with some of the best players in the world. Yeah, of course. I mean, we're rubbing shoulders with the best of the players in the world. You know, so that gives us great uh, great confidence when we compete with them. And as you can see, you know, UAE has been performing well in the, in the past six, seven months. We defeated New Zealand as well. So and we play a lot against those players in T10, IL T20. So that gives us good exposure when we play against them. When we play against the big teams, you know, we're confident to go with. We are happy to say that before IL T20, they were they were good happy T10. Yes, of course, I would have T10 first. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I want to ask you this question: uh, When you are uh, playing in this in, in this format, uh, and you're a wicketkeeper, were you always wanted to be wicketkeeper? Did you, like did you just saw some players thought, okay, this is something I can do. I'm good at catching and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I think it was under 11s when my club didn't have a keeper. I think that's when I signed up to be a keeper because I was always a decent fielder. And under 11s, our club did have a keeper, so they're like, you know what, put your gloves on and go keep. So I just started keeping from then, I've been keeping ever since. A keeping different from international cricket to T10, not for man, different format to different in T10, is, is this the same mindset? You just get very less balls in T10, and <laughs> hopefully, you just don't make any mistake. Okay. And do you, how many nicks do you expect? Like, in, when you're keeping in like in longer formats, you're expecting a player to nick a few because they're trying to settle down the score. But in T10, hard, everybody's just going from the go, get go. So, are you think, you know, is, what are chances that somebody's going to nick a ball or, you know? Okay. Especially after today, I wish I was two inches taller. You know, all the nicks were going over my head. <laughs> so I wish I was two inches taller so I could fly and catch, catch some. I just, also, just want to ask you, what's, uh, it's your, you've played, like you say, 100, 100 games for UAE. Where do you see UAE going as a cricket nation, uh, especially with, with such a, a stat league happening in, in UAE for like seven years now? Yeah, I think it, we're just on the uprise. You know, as you can see, there's a lot of youngsters coming to the UAE team. I think our average age, last, last game we played was 22, 23. You know, that's a great boost for UAE cricket. It's because a lot of youngsters get opportunities in T10 and other international leagues over here. So, of course, that gives us great confidence when you go out there and play for UAE. Uh, and do you visit Chennai often? Sorry? Do you visit Chennai often? But it's been five years, uh, so I really want to go back at some point, hopefully. Uh, definitely. If you do, please let us know. Yes, for sure. Thank you so much. No